Hi, this is Jamie. I'm back again to talk about part two of how to get started in DevOps. If you watched part one, I spent some time talking about culture and building relationships. In the second part of the answer, I'm going to spend time talking about automation. Automation is really going to be the key to getting into the mindset and building confidence that you can do a lot of these techniques that are talked about in DevOps. A fine example of that would be automating tasks that you do in an everyday uh, workflow. So if you're a developer, that would be automating builds. If you're a system administrator, that would be automating setting up Active Directory or managing Microsoft Outlook or, you know, there's commands that you run constantly. Just try to figure out how to automate those. And when I say automation, what I'm really talking about is a relentless type of automation. So don't stop. Don't think any task is too small to be automated. That's a good place to start are the small tasks. If there's something that you spend five minutes doing, then automate that. Because if you do it 10 times a, a day, that's 50 minutes. And that adds up over the course of a week. And as tasks get more time consuming, automation becomes more important. And it's all about saving time. A lot of people are afraid if they automate tasks or they automate a lot of their job that they're going to automate themselves out of a job. I follow the, the advice that you're going to automate yourself into a job. And so that's what I have found is I found that my value has increased because I can leverage automation. We don't need to increase headcount as we increase capability. And we can take that, you know, positives and negatives of that. But at the end of the day, employers find that really valuable. So that's my answer to how to get started in DevOps is Focus on culture and relationships first and on learning how to automate tasks that you do all the time. Another part of this question is how do you get started in DevOps is I generally recommend reading a few books. So I have these books here with me. Uh, the first one would be The Phoenix Project. Excellent read. I couldn't put it down. If you've been in IT or in software development for a while, it will seem like real life. That's what makes it really good. So I recommend this book, a lot of focus on culture and a lot of focus on techniques that get implemented to ease into the DevOps mindset. The next book I'm going to recommend would be the follow-up, which is the DevOps Handbook. This book, again, has a lot of examples. It's the follow-on to the Phoenix Project. And it's got lots of really good information. And I will say this is the first book that I've ever bookmarked like this. And if you open it up, that's probably not the best page. I've also never highlighted in a book before, but as you can see here, I have. So the Phoenix project the DevOps handbook. And if you're in development or work closely with developers, I'm going to recommend that you read continuous delivery by Jez Humble. Another excellent book that's going to have a lot of information and ideas around how to get there on things that you need to tackle or come up with a game plan for. So that's it for my answer to getting started in DevOps. Please subscribe if you like this video. Please provide me feedback. I'm going to try to put these out on a regular basis, probably weekly to start out with, talking about various topics in DevOps. Thanks for joining me.